guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here. Welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. As you see, we're in the kitchen today. I'm joined by my wife, Jamie. Jamie, say hey, everybody. Hi. And my little girl, Majo. Hi. Majo, say hey. Hey. She's, uh, she's helping with some potatoes. What we're going to be doing today is uh, meatloaf, but not just any meatloaf. We're doing deer meat meatloaf. Oh, man, it is delicious. So, the ingredients will be down in the description below. You can uh, look at all the ingredients, get everything that you need together, and then follow along with us. Uh, that way it will kind of cut down on some of the, um, have to tell you all the ingredients. So, we're going to get everything prepared, and then we'll be right back to get everything situated together. Obviously, the first thing you need is some deer meat. Uh, this is about a pound and a half. Of deer meat that I processed myself. I actually have a video here on my channel of me showing you what I do to process my deer meat. So I'm gonna get this open and pour this into my stainless steel bowl and I'll be right back. In the bowl with the hamburger meat, uh, what you're gonna need is one egg cracked in there, you need one chopped onion. One cup of breadcrumbs. Need one cup of milk. This is extra. We're putting Everglades heat in here just to add a little bit of spice to it. That step is optional. Uh, you can use Tony's, uh, anything like that. We're using Everglades heat. And then salt and pepper to taste. And then salt, the pepper. Now remember my trick? How many of y'all seen the video of my trick? See, it's not a whole lot of peppers coming out. But if you rub, oh yeah. A lot just come out of there. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, my major. <clears throat> now it's time to get your hands dirty. Just get in there and mix it all up. Make sure you get everything well mixed. Get those breadcrumbs all in there. Get that egg all mixed in. That is well mixed. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. Uh. Now I'm going to get you a meatloaf pan. And we're going to fill it up. Oh, one thing that you, that's really good about using deer meat instead of just regular hamburger meat, whenever you're cooking your meatloaf, uh, you don't have to worry about your deer meat being just sitting there soaking and cooking in a whole bunch of grease. My deer meat does have a little bit of hamburger meat in it uh, to help hold everything together, but deer meat is very lean, so it's not going to be a whole lot of, you know, uh, fat and grease that it's cooking in. Now we're going to make the topping that goes on the top of your meatloaf. So let's point you down and we'll show you what we're using. First thing we're going to use is two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we're going to need one tablespoon of mustard. And then you need one third cup of ketchup. Now you mix it. You make it the spoon. Yeah, mix it with the spoon. And that is the color of it. Really nice color. And then you spread it on your meatloaf. All right, so you have your stove uh, preheated for 350 degrees, and then we're going to cook it for an hour in the oven. And we'll be back when we pull that out.
Oh, that looks delicious. Baby, what are we having for sides? Mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. Is that the good kinds? Kraft macaroni and cheese. All right, let's get it going. All right, so now we're going to worry about the ma uh, macaroni and cheese and the potatoes because you already know what those taste like. Let's go ahead and break into this deer meat meatloaf and see what it's all about. Hi. Are you saying hey to everybody, Majo? Hi. Look at that right there. The onions. Oh, man. All right. Mmm. Mm. Right, you did. Oh, yeah. amazing. And, yeah, and me too. Okay. And Majo, you did good too. Mmm. Yes, guys and gals. You've got to try that. It is great. Yeah, tell them, Majo. Alright, guys and gals. That's it. That's all I got for you today. I'm going to finish this meal and enjoy it with Majo and everything else. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all try it. If you do, come back and let me know down in the description below what you think about it. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.